Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Section. I'm here today to bring the review for My Hero Academia on Mango Chapter 154. So, um, Overhaul's new form. Um, we find out during the chapter that his wounds have been healed, his stamina has been healed. You know, he's got a new form now. He's essentially at 100 again. That I can buy. The ho- what I can't buy is the whole point that he is now so much stronger and like even Deku. He's probably got the, he's probably the potentially the strongest person there. Is having a hard time dealing with him. That I can't buy. So, but that's just my way. that might be just me, and I don't really have much. Um, it's because he was so weak before, and me really had a very easy time with him, and it's just really hard for me to buy that he got so much stronger by just fusing with one subordinate. But that might be just me. So as the chapter is going on, we find out that the reason why when Overhaul did his thing, where he was messing with the landscape, why they did his little fusion dance, he separated Razorhead and his other subordinate because he's interested in Razor's head quirk for obvious reasons. You can erase quirks, they're trying to get rid of all quirks, you know, obvious reason right there and there. So the chapter in the chapter we had Deku versus Overhaul. Deku had a very hard time, couldn't, couldn't deal with the situation. And then we flip over to um, Sir Night Eye versus, um, versus Overhaul. And it's during this time Sir Night Eye tells Deku to get to get um, to get New Million and Eri Chan out of there. And to that he agrees in the beginning, he gives them the escape route he needs. And it's during this time where me we were just thinking and we have a little flashback and we see just exactly it was a touching moment because we see just how much me Ryu means to Sir Nai Ai and I think he was a little bit when Sir Nai Ai jumped in there, I think he was a little bit peed off when he found out that um Lumilin has this quite taken away from him forever. So there's a bit of upset, there's a bit of rage. I'm seeing like a daddy kind of figure for Sir Night Eye, for all, for, um, for Sir Night Eye, I mean, you, it's the same thing where how All Might looks, it's like the master teacher kind of thing, but only this time we have Sir Night Eye and me, me, so finding out that his quote got taken from it, I can understand that he got peed off, and we find out, it was after this flashback, um, we were told this again, really, that Sir Night I can see into the future. His future has never been ch- been able to change it. Whatever he sees comes to truth. He may have been able to alter it slightly, where extra things have been thrown in there, but he's never ever ever been able to completely change it. And we find out that he's used his quirk on um on overhaul, and it's him him jumping into this fight. Was just basically him giving his life for me, Ryu, for the person, for the student that he respects the most. And although he probably was trying to change the future, he knows that he's never been able to do this before. So he was willing to die for his student. And when I say why I say willing is because obviously if you read the chapter, you know that before. He, well, he does look, pretty, you know, look pretty beat up at this moment, but I don't think he's dead yet. We've had Deku come in there to to change things, you know, to change the future, bend the future, as he says. Now Deku hops in there, and now he goes, he goes 20%, or one for all, 20%. Um, and now I'm thinking that when I saw him do this, I was thinking, you do, you do too much, bro. Like you're really damaging your body. I don't know if any of you that watch um watch One Piece, but in the beginning, before the time skip, Gear 2, Gear 3, that was doing serious damage to Luffy's body. And he also did other things that you know that makes it seem like Luffy is reckless, like he doesn't really care about his life, he's just really living in the moment. Deku seems way like ten times worse than Luffy ever was <clears throat> but again that might be just, that might be just that might be just personal opinion now it says one for all 20 percent but i reckon this is uh for the cloud for cloud 20 percent and i can't remember how much percent he was using before so i can't really get hyped up about um him using 20 percent but 
he is in pain. He's saying his buddy's in pain, but he is. He does seem to be. I'm gonna say for now on equal footing of overhaul using the twenty percent. So what I reckon is gonna happen now is that Deku is going to defeat Overhaul, save Night Eye, and because this will be the first time Night Eye's future has been changed, this would then probably not fully, but it would be the lead point to Sir Night Eye respecting Deku because obviously we know that De um, Sir Night Eye doesn't like Deku right now. He feels that me, Ryu, should be the symbol of peace. I do too, right now. Well, um, yeah, I reckon this will be the lead point to Sir Night Eye gaining that respect for Deku. And that's everything I've got to say about the chapter. I reckon it does deserve a free. It did get a little bit touching at the end, but I don't think it gets past the free star rating. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.